Okay, so stats assignments. Now, looking today at the log distribution. So this is the question you will get. So you will be given your normal distribution. You will be given your mean and your standard deviation. And you will be asked to, do, to calculate for the log one. Now, to do this, you've got this big formulas. Now, typing it in once is okay. Doing it over and over as you do calculations can become tedious. So, what we'll do today is calculate this by typing it into Excel, creating a little formula box. Now, looking at this, so this is your normal mean, your normal standard deviation, and you're asked for a log mean and log standard deviation. So, going to your Excel, normal mean, normal standard deviation, this is what you're given, and this is what you're looking for. Now, you've been given this to be 0 and to be 1. So you'll type in there that 0 and that is 1. Now, looking at the log mean. Using Excel, you type equals and you start by typing your formula, which will be the exponent. You click on that. Then you put brackets in. You'll see later why it is 3. This is now basically just the formula and then this will be your mean, so you'll select it from wherever you've done it. And you'll close that bracket. Add standard deviation. And that'll be to the power of 2. And this is still just the formula that I'm following. Divide it by 2. Close your brackets or final. And enter. There's your log mean 1.65. Uh, going to the answers to confirm and yes, not correct. Moving on to the next step, we'll be doing for the standard deviation of the log. Now, there's your log, same story. Go to the cell, create yourself a little box. And this one starts off by using the square root. Square root. Add another extra bracket, you'll see now why. And again, you go to your exponent function. And to bracket that, then your standard deviation, which you were given. And that to the power of 2. Close that bracket. Then, according to the formula, it's minus 1. You do that, close the bracket. And that is basically half your formula. Adding the other half, exactly the same, or almost the same. Adding your exponent in. Another bracket. Two times your mean, which was given. Close the bracket. Add standard deviation, which will be to the power of 2 and you close off four brackets there you go, answer of 2.16 going back to what your question was confirming 2.16 now your formula has been created now looking at the next this one is for 2 and for 1 you simply go here, and type in 2 and type in 1 you see 12 and 15 go to your answer sheet 12 and 15. Lastly, to confirm this one, 2 and 1.5. You're going this 2 already. 1.5. Your answer is being 22 and 66. Going back here, 22 and 66. This formula now you will save for yourself. You do it like this. And you'll know whenever you get a calculation in an exam like this, you simply pop in the values and the answers comes out.